PBS Kids. Hey, scientists, it's me, Sid. I want to know all the things that computers can do. So my mom is coming to school to help us investigate how computers can be an amazing science tool. Come explore with me, Sid the Science Kid, coming up next. Sid the Science Kid is made possible by... At Boeing, we believe the best way to prepare children for success is by nurturing their curiosity and enthusiasm for learning and letting the future of our children take flight. Vinci is proud to sponsor Sid the Science Kid. Vinci believes a loving environment combined with the right tools helps each child to reach her full potential. Vinci, technology for early learning. To engage, to empower, and to inspire the genius in every child. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. With significant foundation support from MetLife Foundation. The Rose Hills Foundation. The S.D. Bechtel Jr. Foundation. The John W. Carson Foundation the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you say? What you want to learn today? I want to know why things happen and how and want to know everything now. Oh yeah! How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? What's up with the sky? You think I could fly? The world is spinning and I want to know why. I got a lot of questions and big ideas. I'm Sid, the science kid. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm watching mom and dad. This is so funny. Oh, honey, honey, remember tonight we need to go to the store. And oh, I think that's the calendar on my computer. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The computer went ba ding and dad went running. <laughs> Well, my computer reminded me that I have an appointment this morning. All right, don't forget that. So, as I was saying, oh. I... Oh, oh, that's oh. my email. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I could watch this all day. <laughs> Anything important, hon? Just an email from work. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, good Sido. morning. <laughs> Hi. What's so funny? Well, every time the computers go, but ding you both run around. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry, we're so distracted, Sid. Yeah, it's just that we're both getting a lot of emails from work. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there goes another one. <laughs> hey, um, wait, what are all these email things on your computer? Well, an email is just like a letter, except it comes to the computer instead of to the mailbox. Oh, oh, oh I think that's, that's mine. mine. It's both of ours. Okay, <laughs> breakfast will be ready soon, Sid. Hey, come on, okay. let's go get them. <laughs> oh, boy, computers make mom and dad act so funny. <laughs> and that's why. I just got to know, why do mom and dad run when their computers go? But ding Sid, breakfast time! Oh boy, breakfast time! But ding <laughs> Breakfast time! Hey, good morning! Whoa. Hey, look, it's happening again. Check it out. Mom's on the computer, and Dad's on the computer, and <laughs> see, everybody's busy on computers, even Zeke. Ba -ding, ba -ding, ding. <laughs> oh, hi there, Sid. How's it going? Oh, uh oh, another message on the computer. Oh. Hmm. Well, I was observing that computers tell you what to do. The computer goes ba ding, and you guys go look at it. Huh. You know what? These computers are distracting us from you. And we're sorry about that. Yep, your mom's right. I am done. <laughs> <laughs> and these computers don't tell us what to do. Actually, I tell the computer what to do. Come on over, I'll show you. Okay. You know how I make computer games for kids, right? Right. You make really cool stuff. Oh, thank you. Well, this is a computer game called Super Duper Antibodies. It's a science game for kids. Wow. You made that? Well, yes. Yeah, she sure did. The computer lets your mom create things that people everywhere can see and use. Well, 
I bet my friends would love to know about all this, Mom. Wouldn't it be great if you could come to my school and show them what you do? Well, if it's okay with Teacher Susie, maybe I could come and show your class how to use a computer. Really? Uh... Really, really? <laughs> really, really? Uh, Mort, hmm? while Sid eats breakfast, would you send an email to Teacher Susie to see if it's okay? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope Mom can come to school to teach us about computers, because that would be so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> I love my mom. Uh-huh. My mom is cool. Uh-huh. But now it's time for having fun in school. Yeah. <laughs> my friends. I'm looking for you. There's Gabriella. Watch what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's Gerald. Yeah. Check out my moves. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm a dancing machine. Cool. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's May. Uh, may I show you how I groove? <laughs> Woo! Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, We're looking, looking for our friends. friends. We're, We're looking, looking for you. you. Hey, there's Sid. Did you hear the one about the kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you. Oh, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Reporter. I am Sid the Science Reporter, and I want to know if I'm the only one whose parents are on the computer so much. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, hi, May. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Hello. I have a question. Yes? My mom and dad are always on their computers, and when the computers go, but ding, ding they, they run, run to, to see, see what, what it, it is. is. Yeah. My mom does the same thing, and then she <laughs> types really, really fast on her computer. Oh. Yep, that is really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, May. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, hi, Gabriella. Hello. Um, do your parents use the computer all the time like my parents do? Computers? Mm -hmm. My whole family uses them, and so do I. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you do on them? Well, every morning, my dad and I look at the weather on the computer so we know if we need a sweater or a jacket. Uh -huh. We also look at the weather where my Uncle Toby lives. And he lives really far away. Wow. Well, thanks, Gabriella. Sure thing. <laughs> oh. Hey, Gerald. <laughs> I did. Hi. Hey, how about you? Does your family use computers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mom um, uses a computer with me. And, um, oh, a couple of days ago, we found this really neat game called huh? Super Duper Antibodies. <gasps> hey, my mom made that game. Really? Really? Wow, I love that game. You know, because it goes... Bing bong, bing bong. Yeah. <laughs> what? What goes pew, 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 bing bong, bing bong, bing bong? Oh, the, the game that Sid's mom made on the computer. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my mom might be coming to school to show us how to use a computer. Whoa, Whoa that would be cool. cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Everybody, rug time. That's, That's Teacher, Teacher Susie. Susie. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Okay. It's rug time. Come on in. Rug time, take a seat. Rug time, we're ready. ready. Everybody move your feet. Rug time, teach your Susie. Good times on the way. Rug time, come on in. We've got a lot to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> tap, 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 tap. I am a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Shutting down now. <laughs> 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 So I'm guessing you've all been talking about computers. Yes, we have. 
My mom and dad are always typing on their computers. Oh, yeah, my dad and I look up the weather on the computer. Mm. Very good. Well, who wants to find out more about computers from a very special visitor? Oh, we, we do! do! Oh, goody. My mom must be coming today. <laughs> Ready for me? Yeah! Yeah! Sid's mom! <laughs> Sid, want to introduce our visitor? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Friends and teacher. Here in our classroom is a world famous computer expert, the person I call Mom. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with <laughs> all you scientists. How about if you tell us what kind of work you do on the computer? Sure. Well, I make websites. Websites? What's that? It's a place to visit on the computer. Think of it as a big book. And each page has something special on it. One page might have music you can listen to. One page might have pictures. And one page might have a game you can play. Oh, um, Sid's mom, I love that science game that you made. Yeah, I, I play it all the time with my mom. Oh, I'm glad you like the game. And I'm glad you're using the computer with a grown-up. Yeah. Grown-ups will make sure you don't use the computer for too long. It's important to get outside and play, too. Well, now that you know the rules of the computer, maybe we can all learn how to use the computer just like scientists do. Scientists use computers, too? They sure do. Computers can be a great science tool. How about if we do a special computer investigation in the... Oh, wait, wait. May I say it? I've always wanted to. <laughs> go for it. Let's all go to the... Super Fab Lab! Yeah! Come on! Let's go! Oh, yay! <laughs> Super Fab Lab. <laughs> Super Fab Lab! Investigate, explore, discover! Ah. Okay, scientists, let's learn how to use a computer! Uh, yeah. Yes, let's get started! First of all, when you sit at the computer, make sure you sit up nice and straight. Ooh. It's good for your back. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, see that arrow? That's how I choose what I want to do. But to move the arrow around, I use this. <laughs> Does anyone know what it's called? I do. It's called a mouse because it kind of looks like a cute little mouse moving around. That's right, <laughs> May. Um, well, our computer at home doesn't have a mouse. See, um, it's got this flat place where you move your finger. That's called a touchpad, and you can use it just like a mouse to move the arrow. Oh. Then you click like this to choose what you want to do. Wow. And oh. now that we know how to use a computer, let's investigate how scientists use it as a science tool. Oh, uh -huh. hey, these are magnifying glasses in our journals. I thought we were going to use the computer. We are. You see, scientists use computers to share their discoveries with each other. So you're all going to use a magnifying glass, explore the room, and make a discovery. Ooh. Okay. Then we draw a picture of our discovery in our journal. Exactly, May. Um, I still don't get it. How's that using the computer as a science tool? Well, when a scientist learns something new, it's important to share that information. That's right. And I can use this camera to take a picture of all your drawings. And then teacher Susie can help you email them to your parents at home. Oh, yeah. An email's like a letter you can send on the computer. So we're using the computer like a journal and sharing it with everyone. You yeah. got it, May. <laughs> well, I am very impressed with all you scientists. I wish I could spend all day with you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to get back to work. So after I put all your pictures into the computer, I have to go. Thank you, Thank you, Mom. Mom. Thank you Mom. <laughs> Alice, you're welcome in our classroom anytime. Oh. <laughs> and now, scientists, let's get started. Grab your magnifying glasses, make a discovery, then draw a picture in your journal. Yay! Yay! Let's go! Yeah. No. Hey, you're a scientist. You can try this, too. Okay, scientists, let's investigate how a computer can be an amazing science tool. First, use a magnifying glass to make an observation. Find things around the room. Take a good look. 
and observe all the details. Next, draw a picture of what you found. You can draw all the colors and textures of the things you observe. Now it's time to share all the observations you made with scientists or people interested in your discoveries, like your parents. To do this, your teacher will take a photo of all your drawings. Then, he can attach the camera to the computer, so all your photos can move onto the computer. Use the mouse to move your photo into an email. An email is like a letter that travels really fast from one computer to another computer. It's a great way to share information. Up here is where we write the email address. This tells the computer where to send your photos. Now click the mouse to send the email with your photo. You did it! You used the computer to share information, just like a real scientist. <laughs> Look at this! Sid's mom put all your journal drawings into one big picture on the computer. Doesn't it look great? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's hear about the discoveries you made. I discovered what the butterfly on my wonder wand looks like. And I looked at the face of our pet praying mantis up close. Yeah, and I looked at our rug. It looks really different through the magnifying glass. <laughs> uh, Gerald, hmm. what discovery did you make? I can't quite tell what it is. Oh, well, that's Sid's elbow. Oh. <laughs> wow, well, you all made some great discoveries with your magnifying glasses. Now let's share them with other people. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Gerald, since you're right here, let's start with you. The mouse is all set, so just click right on it, and this picture will go to your family at home in an email. Okay, um, countdown, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, computer scientists, after you each send your parents an email with the picture, you can go play with your new ideas. Yay! Yay! Today, we're going to pretend this is a really, really huge computer. And my wonder wand is the mouse. <laughs> computer, say my name. Click. Your name is Gabriella. Great. Now, computer, tell me what sound a dog makes. Click. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Thanks, computer. Next question. What is my teacher's name? Click. Susie. Teacher Susie. Okay, now some hard questions. What's my favorite kind of cookie? Click. Chocolate, Chocolate chip. chip. Yes, and how tall is a giraffe? Click. Very tall. What color is the sun? Click. Uh, yeah. Yellow. What's yummier, a cupcake or a pizza? Click. Uh, Do I like standing yeah. up or sitting down? Uh, Click. Uh, what are my favorite uh, socks? Click. Uh, how far away is the moon? Click. Hey, let's play family. Yeah. Gabriella, you and I will be the kids. <laughs> and Sid is our daddy. He's very busy on the computer. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm Dad, and I'm busy on the computer. Very busy. Oh, Dad, come and play with us. Not now. I'm busy on the computer. Dad, can we eat all the cookies we can find? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, right now I'm busy on the computer. Oh, Dad, there's a skunk at the door. Can we let him in? Uh, sure. Just don't let him bother me, because I'm busy at the computer. Okay. Dad, now the skunk is singing. Oh, uh, really? That's great. La, 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 Oh, that sounds good. I'm very busy on the computer. <laughs> and now he's about to spray you. Oh, no. <laughs> no <one. laughs> oh, ah, there's a singing, dancing skunk in my house, and he's about to spray me. La, 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 la. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
remember, don't let this happen to you. Don't spend so much time on the computer that you don't even notice if there's a singing, dancing skunk in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear another song? Um, no thank you, Mr. Skunk. Hmm. That's showbiz. <gasps> Bye, Bye, Ding! <laughs> <laughs> and now... It's time... For Susie... To sing... Go, Go Susie! Bye, Bye Ding! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, scientists, we've learned a lot about how computers can help us. Yeah. Computers are here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> computers, computers, everywhere computers. Some are huge and the tiny ones just could not be cuter. They do what they do, helping me and you. Computers, computers, computers. You can find them, girls and boys, in some of your teeniest toys. Handheld video games, talking digital picture frames, alarm clocks that let you snooze, pedometers and walking shoes, escalators, elevators, don't forget your calculators, microchips to rocket ships, and everything in between. Computers are working behind the scene. Computers, computers, everywhere computers. Some are huge and the tiny ones just could not be cuter. They do what they do, helping me and you. Computers, computers, computers. Everywhere you turn, computers help us learn. Music players to hear a tune, telescopes to see the moon. At meal times we're loving a microwave oven. Big computers in a weather center tracking worldwide weather. Everywhere you go on Earth, the computer has a place. And we have humongous ones exploring outer space. Computers, computers, everywhere computers. Some are huge and the tiny ones just could not be cuter. They do what they do, helping me and you. Computers, computers, computers. Computers, computers, computers. Yeah! Hey, hey, let's all use our computers. Okay. Okay, my computer scientist, it's time to go home. Follow me. Okay. Now where's my seed? Oh, right here, Grandma. Oh. Oh. Now. Okie doke. Let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah. Driving with Grandma. Grandma! <laughs> Grandma, my mom came to school today. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. I thought she was too old for your school. Oh, Grandma! <laughs> no, Mom came to show us how to use a computer. Oh. Did you know that people use computers for all kinds of things? Mm. Some are so small they fit in phones, cameras. Oh, you're right about that. Computers nowadays are so tiny. But you know, computers weren't always that small. No! When scientists first started making computers, they were huge. In fact, the very first computers were so large, they filled up an entire room. Those first computers used lots and lots of power. <laughs> the big old room-sized computers were so slow in computing numbers and sending data. Oh, I'll bet that the folks who made them never imagined that one day, people, even grandmas like me, would be carrying around powerful computers the size of a small book. <laughs> in fact, I have a computer so small that it fits right here in my purse. <laughs> wow, Grandma, that's amazing. Mm. But I know one thing a computer can never do. Oh, what's that? Be the best Grandma in the world like you. Oh, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I learned something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all about <laughs> computers. <laughs> Scientist in the house. Yeah. And mom's
showed us how to use the computer and to always make sure you only use it with a grown-up you know. And how to look up stuff. And, and how, how to share the things you discover. Hey, <laughs> you got the email I sent you. Yeah, I sure did. And I love all the discoveries you and your friends made. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, hey, Hi, um, Oh, I see you got Sid's email. Yep. And it is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> you know, enough computers for today. Yeah. Let's all go outside and, and play. play. <laughs> okay. Uh, come, come on, on Sid. Race you to the treehouse. Come on. Enough computers. <laughs> Ooh, I learned so much about computers today. They're everywhere. And Grandma says they used to be really big, but now they're a lot smaller. Hmm. Hey, what if they were really small? Like, itty bitty teeny tiny. Okay, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper big idea. I'm going to invent the teeny tiny ring computer. A computer so small you can wear it like a ring on your finger. It's small and can do lots of things. Like when you shake someone's hand, the ring computer can figure out how tall the person is, how much she weighs, her favorite flavor of ice cream, and whether she's feeling sad or happy. You are four feet tall, weigh 55 pounds, and like chocolate ice cream, you are feeling happy today. Beep. The teeny tiny ring computer can also read emails, show movies on the wall, tell you how to make a hamburger, and it becomes a phone. Hello, I'm talking to you on my teeny tiny ring computer. Sorry, my thumb got in the way. What did you say? Oh, <laughs> I love you too, Mom. The teeny tiny ring computer. It's small, easy to use, and amazing. And that's my super duper uber schmooper big idea. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> Remember, only use a computer when you are with your mom or dad or a grown-up you know. Time to shut down. Beep. Beep. <laughs> but I'm still Sid the Science Kid. Remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. See you later, scientists. <laughs> But ding, but doink, but bloop. Be sure to check out another episode of Sid the Science Kid. We'll discover different ways to use a computer, investigate how things fly, and explore how to solve a problem by engineering a solution. We're investigating all kinds of technology on Sid the Science Kid. Want to hear some dynamite dino news? We Dinosaur Train is on weekdays. Really? You kidding? Yeah! Catch Dinosaur Train weekdays on PBS Kids or watch anytime you want at pbskids.org. Sid the Science Kid is made possible by... At Boeing, we believe the best way to prepare children for success is by nurturing their curiosity and enthusiasm for learning and letting the future of our children take flight. Vinci is proud to sponsor Sid the Science Kid. Vinci believes a loving environment combined with the right tools helps each child to reach her full potential. Vinci, technology for early learning. To engage, to empower, and to inspire the genius in every child. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. With significant foundation support from MetLife Foundation. The Rose Hills Foundation. The S.D. Bechtel Jr. Foundation. The John W. Carson Foundation the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. There's lots more science fun to explore online at pbskids.org.